Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are gonna be having a look at refurbishing and repairing a Nintendo DSi XL. So I bought this from eBay and it arrived a few days ago um, and I chucked it on charge. On the listing it said that it just didn't work at all. Um, I think I paid about £15 for this uh, which isn't too bad um, with about six or seven pounds postage and when I plugged it in it was a little bit temperamental and um, the charger eventually the light stayed on and uh, I left it on charge and I can report that it does turn on. Um, all the buttons seem to work fine and everything like that so basically what I thought I would do is um, a little bit extreme potentially, but what I'm gonna do is actually replace the uh, the charging port. That's not something that I've ever done before. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do that. I've also got a bag of spares from the um, DSi refurb. Um, so hopefully we're gonna be dealing with the same charge port here. And uh, yeah, I thought we'd just, um, you know, we'd do that and then we can give it a nice clean and stuff, uh, reset the software, and uh, then we've got ourselves a nice uh, Nintendo DSi. This is the um, 25th anniversary edition which is really really cool so um yeah let's go ahead and take the whole thing apart and crack on inside so the first thing we have to do is take all of the screws out of the back of the nintendo dsi xl there's quite a few of them just be careful keeping all of them separately because some of them are going to be different there's also one hidden behind where the DS cartridge goes, so just make sure that you uh, take that one out as well, otherwise you could end up breaking the plastic. After that, just lift off the back piece ensuring not to rip off the uh, the cables that are attached to the board. Then you have to go ahead and remove a bunch of screws from the inside. Again, you need to make sure that you keep these separately because there are two different types in there. Take off the Wi-Fi module and the little connector for the camera, I believe, and then remove the ribbon cables. You do this by just lifting up the latches. You need to be very, very careful with these because if you break that black piece, then you're not going to be able to put everything back together. After that, you can take off the whole board. Just be careful again not to uh, rip anything in case there's uh, another cable connecting, which there is in fact underneath the board. Now we have access to the charging port. Here's a spare DSi board that I had. I just checked that everything was the same and then I went ahead and tried to remove the one from the DSi board. Now this is quite a difficult process if you don't have really, really good tools. I only had very, very uh, mediocre amateur tools to do this so it wasn't exactly ideal and I actually ended up burning the plastic on the inside. I also lifted up one of the traces so I thought maybe I should just go over and touch up the uh, contact points around it and give the inside of the connector a clean as opposed to replacing the whole thing and just had a look to see if that worked instead. I use 99% isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that everything can be cleaned and then dried very, very quickly. Also make sure that before you turn this on that everything is in fact dried in there. I know some of us in the UK have problems getting this stuff in, so you might only be able to find 70% which does not dry as quick. Now it's time for reassembly, so let's go ahead and put the whole thing back together.
And the final thing to do is test that the charger now works. If I can just find it. There we go. And there we go. Awesome. Okay, so now I have myself a, uh, a working Nintendo DSi XL. Um, I don't actually have um, one of these yet, so now I do. Really, really awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.